Hi, I'm Mark Engel, President of Motorcycles of Charlotte. Welcome to our store. This store was built in 2010 to be the ultimate motorcycle destination. We are the largest European motorcycle dealership in the Carolinas, and we are amongst the largest European exclusive dealerships in the entire country. About 20,000 square feet of entertainment complex related to motorcycles. Oh, this facility is gorgeous. We have the loft upstairs with the TV and the ping pong tables. We have the showroom, that's a monster showroom. Um, there's, you know, the elevator. Yes, we do have an elevator. It really comes in handy when we have a launch party for a new bike because we have that upstairs in our, in our second floor of Riders Club. And the service department, it's so easy to get to. You actually ride your bike up, the doors open up for you and you ride into the, uh, into the service area. We sell BMW, which is the technological leader of motorcycles. The BMWs, those guys, the Germans, they just do just like their cars, you know what I mean? They, they go fast, they go home, they're luxury, they're uh, very, very reliable. I mean, they put 110% into every single one of their products. 2013 is a fabulous year for BMW. Uh, we have just introduced, for the first time in our history, a water-cooled boxer engine BMW in our R12 GS water-cooled. Motor is fantastic. Having been a BMW dealer for, for the last 11 years, I've been through four different designs of boxer motors, and I've never ridden anything quite like this before. It's got power that I just can't describe. You have to experience it for yourself. It spools up so quickly, it almost feels like a Ducati. Very, very fuel efficient, a lot of fun. It's the shape of things to come from BMW, and I just, I'm always amazed at how innovative that company is. Last year, they had another great year. They introduced a six-cylinder inline motorcycle in the K1600 GT and GTL. What's amazing about it is the motor is only that wide, 28 inches wide. This is just not your father's motorcycle anymore. This is designed for, for, there's a bike in the BMW line for everybody from the age of 18 to 75. Uh, just a wonderful, wonderful company, great brand. We sell Ducati motorcycles. Ducati is the pinnacle of Italian design and, and race heritage. So if you're looking for the Ferrari of a motorcycle but can't afford the Ferrari of a car, uh, this is a, the, it, gets, it gets your blood boiling like nothing else can. Anytime the Italians get their hand on a motorcycle, it turns into a masterpiece. And we sell Triumph, which is a, a wonderful uh, English brand. Oh my gosh, Triumph, those guys are pioneers. Those guys have been in the game for so long. I mean, you have to respect what the British have done with the inline threes and their twins. The stuff that they do is remarkable, it really is. Uh, down to the paint jobs, down to uh, the forks, down to anything Triumph is, you know it's Triumph, just because of the quality and what the British have done. And then we sell MV Agusta, which is a, a niche brand of the Italians. Uh, if uh, Ducati is the Ferrari, they're the Lambo. I am so Italian, it is ridiculous. My blood burns the green, white, and red. The top of the line Italian bike that you can get. This bike has the best suspension system on it, the best braking system. The technology and the thought and the engineering that went into this bike could just blow anybody's mind. One of the newest Additions to our store, as far as brands go, is the addition of the Ural motorcycle sidecar combination. Urals are a fascinating uh, machine. They've been built uh, in the Ural Mountains outside of Siberia since 1939. The reason why they were built there was uh, as a precaution during World War II, they were built in an area that was too far for German bomber pilots to fly to bomb their factories. Uh, as a result, it, uh, it's quite a journey to get a vehicle from the middle of Siberia to Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, but these are very, very fun machines. Urals are designed not only as, as entertainment, but truly also as transportation in much of the world. They come in single-wheel drive, just like a regular motorcycle does, and even two-wheel drive models where the, where the sidecar wheel is a driven wheel. You wouldn't use that on a dry uh, asphalt road, but but off-road in the mud, in the snow, climbing up hills and gravel, they make all the difference in the world. They're, they're almost like automated mountain goats. They go anywhere. With the Ural, you can have all the fun of a, of a World War II-style 
motorcycle sidecar rig without getting shot at. The other new brand that we picked up uh, in the last year was the brand of Zero Electric Motorcycles. With a world that's getting more green, more interested in, in energy uh, savings and uh, getting away from petroleum and, and carbon footprints and stuff, we actually have a vehicle that leaves no carbon footprint. A uh, vehicle that uh, can travel up to 90 miles an hour, over a hundred mile distance uh, between charges. These are truly useful machines for everyday commuting and, and motorcycling fun. They're lightweight because there is no big engine. Uh, the motor itself only weighs about 25 pounds. The batteries that are used in these uh, zero motorcycles are lithium ion batteries, the latest cutting edge of technology in batteries. Same kind of batteries you would find in the electric vehicles like the Chevy Volt, um, the uh, uh, other hybrid vehicles that are, that are recent. Um, the battery life is designed to be 300,000 miles. Therefore, it will be a, a battery that you will not be replacing during the life of the motorcycle. Um, they charge quickly. Uh, it, it, a full charge takes about eight hours and a 110 volt outlet, but what's really cool is that 80% of its charging is done within the first hour. And since it only takes a 110 outlet, you'd be surprised how many restaurants and other places have 110 outlets outside in the parking areas that you can just plug in, have lunch, and be ready to ride another 70 or 80 miles. Great performance and I didn't burn a drop of gas. This vehicle, the Zero, goes over 100 miles an hour and has about a 100 mile range. There's zero maintenance to the motorcycle, zero cost of fuel, Costs about 58 cents to charge it for 100 miles of use. Perfect motorcycle. The only thing you hear is the wind. People who want something that's different than everybody else has got, uh, something that they don't see every time they turn around, any one of these brands would be a, a great choice. We're not selling something. We try to cultivate clients. That's a long-term relationship. We will never sell a motorcycle just to get it off the floor. It's in our best interest to help to, to guide somebody to what we think is going to be their most fun bike. We do demo rides every day the weather is nice. There are no spring open houses in our store. Every day is an open house. The average motorcycle store is really a place to buy something. You're here to buy a motorcycle, you're here to buy a t-shirt, to buy a jacket, conclude your business and then kindly leave. This place was built just the opposite of that. This place is designed to be a very welcoming place for everybody that's interested in motorcycles, whether you ride today or not. There's absolutely been a resurgence in the, uh, in the enjoyment of motorcycles. Uh, we're seeing people all the time coming in that, that do not have licenses or thinking about it again, and it's one of the best parts of the job is, is, is turning new people onto the motorcycles. We really care about our customers. We care that they're on the right bike, that they have the right gear, that they have fun with what they're doing, that their bikes are properly maintained, and they have lots of events with which to participate. Well, service department is, is the most important part of any dealership. If the back end of the store, if the technicians and the service department isn't friendly, isn't uh, highly trained, don't know what they're doing, um, it, it can ruin any ownership experience. Our technicians have years and years of experience. They're all master cert certified on the brands that we offer. Um, we're follow through with our service department, keeping in contact with our customers. In our turnaround, we try to have one of the fastest turnarounds in the area. So, We have a complete parts department for apparel and accessories of, of motorcycles, not just the brands we sell, but a lot, of, uh, a lot of our stuff works for brands that we don't sell. We, we carry first here, we've got BMW, we've got Triumph, we've got Ducati, we've got all sorts of lineups, all sorts of different apparel. Give the customers a lot of different variety, a lot of different options and sizing. And if we don't have it, we have enough to be able to size you and get you close to something to enable us to order it and go from there. Helmets, look around. We've got a ton of helmets. Schubert, Troy, Arai. Uh, that's particularly what we stock, namely because of safety. He said it better than me. <laughs> There's not a single jacket on my, in my store or a single helmet in my store that I would not put on my own head. So whether it costs $100 or it costs $600, if it doesn't pass the test of would I wear it on a ride, I would carry it. Mark tested and approved. When I was growing up, even when I was riding 15 years ago, most women were on the back of the bike. He's the motorcycle rider, not me. 
Now most women want to be behind the handlebars, which is fabulous. Women uh, happen to be the largest growing segment of new riders in the country. And more and more our manufacturers are being sensitive to the height issue with our bikes so that they appeal to more women and more women can handle them. They're a lot of fun. He actually got me into it. Um, I, was, I saw him out a couple of times riding and he had mentioned it and uh, he got me the, as a birthday present, the learner's course. So uh, it was probably the best birthday present ever. It's a sport that is an equal opportunity sport. I've been told by people who've gone all over the country that nobody's seen a, a clubhouse like ours, the Riders Club. Well, that's my gift to you. That's, that's my gift to the people who helped us build this building last year as a way of saying thank you, as a place to hang out, as a place to have a good time. And what can I get you? The Customer Clubhouse is a place where the customers can come and relax, have fun, and eat snacks. The balcony is fantastic. Now that it's getting sunny and warm, we can grill outside. I mean, this is a great facility. I mean, you got the motorcycle shop right here. You get a free lunch. The range is right here on the side. You take Once we're going to break, you can come in, cruise around, and take a look for a motorcycle or apparel if you want. No pressure, anything. It's just an excellent facility all the way around. Every time I come though, I drop 300 bucks. Well, uh, the new facility is state of the art. It's a lot bigger uh, and a lot roomier. Uh, they've got a lot more bikes on display. Mark and Gail, the owners of the, of the business, are just wonderful, uh, very customer focused folks. All you got to do is walk in the dealership, take a look at the clubhouse and the rest of it, and you'll see it's very customer focused. I invite you to come visit us here at Motorcycles of Charlotte. I know you're going to love what you see, but even more so, I know you're going to love what you ride. Come bring the family. Come on a Saturday. Enjoy a free lunch. Meet people. Enjoy what motorcycling is supposed to be about. Find new friends to go riding with. You'll find them here. Come join our family. We are Motorcycles of Charlotte. Stop on by.